I work for the Florida tomato industry, which is the largest fresh tomato industry in the country. I've been there for about 15 years. It's a very dynamic group. They're all entrepreneurs. They're pretty much all family businesses. They're all very, very passionately committed to the tomato industry. And I play the role of their target when they're mad with me or their gopher when I go after someone else. And it leads to a very varied experience and uh, has given me opportunities to be places and do things that uh, sometimes coming from a, a rural background here in Lachua County, you just wonder, how in the devil did you ever get here? I uh, was born and raised in Lachua County, a small family farm. Uh, my father's always farmed and his father farmed and we've just kind of been around in the farming business. Started selling greens on the tongue of a mailbox after school at about six or seven years old and we backed into the roadside stand business and the family's been in that business for, I have to admit, over 50 years now. Got my degree from the university early in uh, uh, the late 60s. Uh, was uh, selected by the selective service system. All of a sudden, I was in the United States Marine Corps. It taught me never to blink and always go forward. Because if you don't make progress in this business, you're going backwards. Leadership philosophy is probably goes back to the fundamental philosophy of trying to sell ideas to others rather than you know personally leading the issue. It's more of a concept of engaging other people in the process of trying to move the ball forward. I've found that uh, many times it's encouraging other people to think about a situation differently and own an idea. It's a lot easier to buy it back than it is to sell it. Because when they own it, they'll defend it. When they own it, they believe it. And we make progress. And once you can get a movement or a thought like that out there viable in the community, it has a life of its own. And then it's just a question of nurturing it rather than having to sell it. And most of my success, I think, comes from that kind of a strategy of not truly trying to lead the pack, but simply to herd the pack. It's a relatively easy way to make the world a better place. You know, there, there's benefit to all by, by coming to some common point that is moving forward.